Hello, I'm Waterstones Children's Laureate Joseph Coilo, and I love poetry, and I think you can love poetry too. Today, we're at CLPE, the Centre for Literacy in Primary Education, in their amazing children's library. Hands are wonderful things. Our fingertips have more nerve endings than many other parts of the human body. With them, we can feel something as subtle as the end of a piece of sellotape, or the roughness of sandpaper, or the furriness of a pet's coat. There are lots of great words for different textures, and today we are going to use these words to inspire a poem. The poem can be about anything you like. It might be an adventure story that follows a hero as they tackle a range of different environments, like this. The sun was hot and blazing as Captain Tunde squelched through a sticky swamp, losing a boot and his favourite laser pistol. Up the rough, rocky mountains, Captain Tunde defeated a pack of vicious, hungry, sabre-toothed rabbits. Through the cold, frozen forests, Captain Tunde trekked, running his fingers along the trunks of smooth trees. In the dry deserts, Captain Tunde explored the impossible wonders of the old, crumbling forts. I wrote that poem by being inspired by the different words for an array of textures, and you can do the same. I'm going to put some texture words on the screen, and I want you to look at them and to think about what places or things might have that texture. What might feel rough or smooth, rubbery or spiky? When you think of something, turn it into a verse of your poem. Maybe it will become an adventure poem, or perhaps something totally different. Maybe a description of a sticky, slippery, rubbery meal, or a creature with bumpy, fluffy, spiky skin. Remember, it's your poem, and you're the boss. Pause the screen and take as much time as you need, and I'll be here waiting to see how you got on. How did you do? Did you use lots of textures in your poem? I bet your poems are brilliant. That's the poetry power up sound, which means it's time for another challenge for your poem. I want you to write your poem out again, and this time to add some words related to temperature, like hot, cold, freezing, frozen, Boiling, warm, chilling, scorching, burning. These are all lovely words and they can add another dimension to our poem. And of course, temperature is something we can experience through our fingertips. I love rewriting my poems because I know that each time I do that, the poem gets better and better and yours will too. I think you guys will be very good at adding some temperature words to your poem. Good luck and happy writing.